This is uh, Rich with WorkshopAddict.com and this is uh, SketchUp tutorial number six. We're going through all the uh, toolbar items and in the first tutorials we started with uh, with the select tool and we've made it uh, all the way up to the axis tool where you would change the axis in a drawing. And uh, the next tool is the 3D text tool. Um, not something I use too much, but it's definitely kind of cool if you've uh, got a, a need for it. Um, we can type anything in here. And we can choose our font. Basically all your fonts are going to be different than mine because it's whatever is installed in your system. It's not uh, it's not uh, related to uh, to SketchUp. You can control the height, alignment, uh, extrusion. You know, if we wanted it a little thicker, um, so on and so forth. We're just going to leave it the default. It's going to ask us where we want to place it, so we're going to go in and click here. And notice we have a 3D uh, text on the drawing. Uh, we can go to our materials and pick a material and uh, change the material on that uh, that 3D text. Now these uh, this text can be edited like anything else you would draw. I mean if you go in here and select something, get it in the edit mode, go up, let's draw a line from there to there and push this. Notice we can we can edit that. Um, I'm not in edit. Yeah, I guess I am. I'm in edit mode. So I can push that back and go back here and select this back face, and I end up with a hole all the way through that uh, letter H. So anyhow, that's uh, that's 3D text uh, works pretty well. Just not something uh, something I use a lot. The uh, next tool is the uh, orbit tool. Uh, you'll use that to navigate everywhere in your drawing. Very important tool that allows you to spin around wherever you click down. It uh, spins off that uh, uh, something off that point. I'm not exactly sure 100% how it works, but uh, depending where you click uh, controls, you know, how the thing, uh, how the thing orbits, but you can, in multiple clicks by moving around, you can spin it all the way around that way, all the way around this way. You will need this to uh, navigate. Uh, if you have your mouse with a uh, scroll wheel on it, which you should have if you're doing uh, SketchUp, um, I just hit spacebar to go back to the select tool. You will see when I hold down that scroll button, it goes into orbit mode automatically. Um, the next item is pan, and that just moves it side to side, up to down, up and down, and no different than if you were sliding a piece of paper around a around a table. Um, the um, mouse scroll, if you click down on that, go into orbit mode and then hold down the shift key, it'll automatically switch to pan. So you don't uh, you don't need to uh, go up and, and uh, click the uh, pan tool. So if you get used to it, you'll figure out that you can orb orbit around this direction and you can pan and you can zoom in and out that way. So you can you can navigate through your drawing uh, just by using uh, a uh, shift key and that uh, uh, center scroll wheel on your mouse uh, works really well. The next item is zoom tool and it's a kind of a dynamic zoom. If you, you click down, click here and move up, just move your, I'm holding it down, moving to the top, it zooms in. If I go the other direction, it zooms out. So I can zoom out by clicking down and pulling away, 
or zoom in by clicking and pulling up. So that's that's how that works. The next uh, uh, zoom item is zoom window. Notice how it's got a box around it showing you that's uh, that's a window. You click that and you can go and draw a box. See how I'm drawing a box around this uh, uh, hole that we uh, push through that H and let off? We have now zoomed in to that uh, window. The next uh, zoom extents is uh, something you would use to zoom clear out to the extents of your drawing. If you're working on something, you're zoomed clear in um, and you want to get back out you just click that and it'll take you clear out to the extent of your drawing. The next item is previous. That will click through your previous zooms. It's kind of like a backup for zoom. Uh, I don't use it uh, ever actually but it is there if you need it. The uh, position camera is kinda like the uh, well I'm one ahead here. The position camera is uh, is a tool that allows you to set where you want the camera to be looking or looking from and then the direction you want it to look. So if I was going to be standing on top of this letter O and looking towards the letter H, I could click here and notice that edge point, midpoint, all that kind of stuff works. I could click here and then drag the direction that I want the camera to go and when I let off it's going to zoom around. I'm actually standing on top of that O now looking towards the H. Uh, same thing we could go in here and, and uh, if we wanted to see what it looked like in this hole we drilled we could click the camera here and click it this direction. We're now on the inside of that that O uh, looking, uh, looking through there. So that uh, that works pretty well. Let's zoom back out to our extents. All right, the tool I was going to tell you about a minute ago that's almost like I got that far is the uh, look around tool. That kind of works like the orbit tool, but it never changes your camera position. So I can go in here and click down, and I'm pivoting on that camera point. I can go all the way around 360. And when I come back around, that camera distance is still the same from my object. So if you're drawing a house and you're inside a room, that works well if you want to look around the room. You can use the orbit tool, but because it will spin off a different uh, rotating point, you can rotate yourself right into a wall or a different room or outside the house and and uh, not even know it. Um, that uh, that is uh, kind of a tricky thing so the look around tool works really good for that. The walk tool I really can't show you in this drawing and but what we can do we can open up the as built that I'm doing on my house. Let's go to the dining room and I've got some stairs here uh, this isn't my current as built, so let me uh, let me get to the uh, proper one. Okay, here we go. Let's go over to the dining room. The uh, walk around tool walk tool is kind of nice because it won't allow you to uh, do what I just did. Um, it's supposed to keep you from uh, walking through walls and it will allow you to uh, walk up stairs. Let's, uh, let's look around here maybe my stone it doesn't recognize that it's it's a wall so let's walk this direction see it stopped me at the wall not that that's a lot of a lot of help let's try walking up these stairs it's supposed to allow you to navigate around I'm just clicking down and I'm 
navigating around. See, it's ac it's actually taking me up my stairs here. And except I bounced out the window. There we go. And now we're going up into the into the master bedroom and looking at the fireplace. So that's how the walk around tool is supposed to work. Um, not something I've used a lot, but uh, I suppose uh, for presentations or something like that, maybe it's just tricky in uh, in uh, certain uh, certain situations uh, where it's tight. Maybe it'd work better outside where you've got uh, concrete steps or something along that line. Let's go back to the dining room. One of the things, the next tool, which I I don't use. Um, you're hearing a lot of that lately. Uh, I've covered most of the stuff I used right off the bat. Is the uh, uh, section plane tool. You can go draw a section plane of something and notice how it deleted everything from that point back. So we've got a section plane from this wall going forward. So if you want to do a cutaway on something that's uh, that's what the uh, section planes for. So let's undo that. And we're in my living room now. The uh, the final um, items are defined views, and they work pretty good on a house. Uh, so this is probably a good. Uh, good project to be in. If I click the top, I'm actually looking at it from the top view. Zoom out here a little bit. And uh, here's front, right. That's uh, rear, I guess. Back, they call it. And left. Got some junk out here that I have a tendency to store junk that I think I might use again um, out here a thousand inches out of the uh, out of the drawing. Uh, by the way, that's a trick I often use if I'm uh, doing something that is uh, um, kind of tight and I don't want to mess around with um, mess around with all the other entities around it. Matter of fact, let's go back in the living room. Say, for instance, I wanted to work on this speaker. What I'll normally do is I'll start dragging it out here, the direction I want to go, and I just type in a thousand. So now, if I go outside here, I gotta go over this way. This is where it's at. I now have a speaker that's, uh, you know, outside where I can easily edit and uh, maneuver around it. Uh, so if I need to work with something, I'll select it, move it a uh, thousand inches, you know, whatever works for you outside the uh, drawing, go mess around with it. I may make a copy of it, like I could make a copy of it here if I wanted the original. So I leave that over there, make my edit on the original one here, and when I get done, I just move it back on that same red axis, type in a thousand, and if we go back to the living room, you will see that that speaker is back here exactly in the same spot. So it's just uh, just an easy way to, uh, uh, to do things. As you can see in this particular one, I've started uh, adding some trim and got doors and got some stone and sheetrock. I haven't really done much up here. I've got sheetrock in the walls, no windows, although I do have, you know, one sliding sliding door there, but um, I don't have any windows up here. I haven't detailed those out yet, and no uh, sheetrock on the uh, on the ceiling. I've got sheetrock on the walls, but but all my framing's done and trusses and and uh, I've got tile on the stairs and um, my custom built hand railing and so on and so forth. So, um, I, as I mentioned in the 
beginning uh, first tutorial I'm new at this this is my first year for 3d first year for SketchUp uh, this is just stuff I've picked up in the last few weeks so uh, what I've drawn here uh, you guys are uh, capable of uh, drawing as well so that's uh, that's all the uh, the tools basic tools and in, uh, in uh, SketchUp if you got any questions you can ask me I'm going to uh, post another video here uh, shortly we'll go ahead and draw up a metal project see if everybody can uh, follow along but now that we've been through all the tools it should make it easier alright